It's like. What's up, guys? I know, an intake video, not the most exciting thing, but it is a deleted and tuned Colorado, so that makes it a little bit cooler. Do intakes do anything for your truck? Do they add power? Do they add sound? Do they add fuel economy? Probably not. Am I gonna put one in anyway? Yes. Gonna get some nice intake noises with this boy. So I was on Facebook Marketplace just browsing some stuff and happened to come along this intake. So this is the AFE, it's the open style intake. I got it for a hundred bucks, why not? I asked the guy, I'm like, why are you selling it? And he said he hated the sound. He has a tuned and deleted Z71 Colorado and he just hated the sound that this, this made and said it was annoying, especially like on the highways. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty similar to the straight pipe experiment I had where I had it on for 15 minutes and took it back off because it was loud and annoying and obnoxious and I hated it. That is a massive filter though. Look at how big that boy is. It's decently clean. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna clean it right now. I don't think he had it very long. Don't know why that's in there. Pretty simple kit, not a whole lot to it. A little bit of a heat shield Jonesy idea thing. And then basically the intake, here's the inlet off the ginormous turbo that is the Colorado turbo. This piece with the MAF, big old air filter. Uh, let's get started on this approximate like five minute install. Over there I have the stock boy. Normally I'd show you like a before and after as far as sound or performance or anything like that. But I mean, you, you can't hear this intake at all. Like no noise comes from it. Let me give you a preview of the noise that, that the airbox makes. You hear anything? Didn't think so. Actually, before I install this, I just want to clean up the parts a little bit. They are a little bit dirty because, well, they're used. AFE power. <coughs> That's strong. That's better. Now let's uh, take the old one off. Look at all that room under there. Oh. You guys wanna see a huge turbo? Look at that thing. Almost done, just a few more bolts. I got hung up on snaking my hands down in there into the kind of those some of those tighter areas and ended up being a pain, but pretty much done. Get big bertha on here. So what's weird is in the instructions, this little metal clip here is for this to attach to this. I don't really see why I need that. It's attached right there and attached right there. So I'm really not sure why they want you to do this, but it's in the instructions, so I'm sure I'll do it. Attach this hose to the heat shield. Really, really, really don't know why. My only thought is to maybe strengthen this top piece up a little bit because it gives it something to grab onto. Looks pretty good in there. Cleans it up a little bit. This looks a little cleaner than the OEM setup. Sure, does it have the potential to get more airflow? I guess. Is it gonna change anything? No, 
My only thought is the sound. We'll figure that out in a second. This doohickey looking thing, I'm guessing this is how Chevy kind of gets rid of some of the factory sound. This thing has like a big, like this whole side piece is a baffle. It's a pretty unique looking one, so I'm guessing that got rid of a lot of the sound that people don't seem to like in these. We'll see how this sounds without that baffle and all this setup. Yeah, that should do it. We should get some nice noises from that boy. I'm going to have the microphone right next to the intake on the outer heat shield box as we're driving along so you can get the best sound clips, I think, that are probably out there of a Colorado intake. I haven't seen anyone else do this, so hopefully it sounds good and you guys can enjoy it because I will say it is loud. Right, guys first drive we're going for in this thing and I can immediately hear the intake just take a listen no microphone this is just interior noise light throttle ready pretty cool little turbo noises it only happens at very light throttle anything moderate to heavy and you can't hear it at all you pretty much just hear the exhaust you don't hear the the whooshing sucking noise that you're getting at partial throttle now with any luck it's not going to be super annoying on the highway and like really bother me because if that's the case then i'll be ripping it off but for now i'm really liking it do i feel any performance gains uh no do i think there's going to be any fuel economy improvement no Maybe those things will improve ever so slightly, but not that you would ever notice. Now we'll give it more throttle. If you can hear it, you won't hear it now. Pretty much just hear all exhaust at that point. You hear it? You hear it? It is pretty cool. I'm kind of, I'm kind of pumped that this thing makes way more turbo noises than it used to because when it was stock you know stock exhaust no tune stock downpipe you wouldn't even know this thing had a turbo the only re the only way you'd know it was a diesel is because it you know had the like clank 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 up at the engine bay now she sounded good all right let me plug you guys into the microphone and see what kind of noises we get all right take this boy here all right my voice is going to disappear in three, two, one. All right, well, hopefully that microphone worked because I tried to get some good noises for you guys. Partial acceleration, moderate acceleration, full acceleration, as well as some like on and off to, to kind of whoosh, whoosh sound. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick one little intake install that was super cheap. Like I said, I got the intake for a hundred bucks. So, you know, why not? Why not try it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Sounds pretty cool. Uh, I will update you guys if I end up taking it off because the sound annoys me. As of this point, obviously it doesn't annoy me because uh, I just put it on so it's new and cool, you know, hip and stuff. I will also update you guys if in the slight off chance that somehow I notice big performance or fuel economy gains, which I won't, I'll let you guys know about that. But happy with the install, fitment's great can't beat it for a hundred bucks so if, if you like the noise sure install one if you don't want noise definitely uh, don't 
install one, obviously. Maybe one of the closed box systems, you wouldn't hear as much. But this is, you know, open, other than that heat shield. And uh, yeah, you can hear it. Lots of parts coming in for this. I was gonna wait till Black Friday to get some stuff, but I actually already ordered some parts just because I wanted to be one of the first to install them on this truck. But Black Friday's very, very soon. So a whole host of parts are gonna be ordered for this thing. So stick around, you'll see those parts soon. Uh, I also have to get some stuff for the big Duramax and some stuff for the LS1 E36. So thanks for tuning in guys, we'll see you next time.